As we approach the Yom Tov of Yom Kippur, this unique and special opportunity coming straight from the love of God, from Hashem giving us a chance to clean up that, to clean it all up and to connect Him in a way that we've never connected Him before. Every year we build on that. And there's a lot of things to talk about, obviously, on Yom Kippur. But I want to just give one ounce of chizik, one ounce of a little bit, perhaps, of encouragement. That if we understand this a little bit more, our Yom Kippur experience might be that much more beneficial. But we're going to ask Hashem, forgive us. And we're going to ask Hashem to give us life and to sign us into that book of life. So Yom Kippur is difficult, we're fasting. It's hard to concentrate. It's hard to really think about things a little bit more past the superficial level. It's a, it's a, it's a difficult day. We struggle. But the Torah teaches us what is necessary to make it a successful one. I'll give you one example. Naomi had two daughters-in-law, Rus and Arpa. And she was living by the Moyav. And she tells them, she tells her dear daughters-in-law, I'm going back. I'm moving back to Israel. I'm going back to Eretz Yisrael to join my family, my entire culture, my heritage, the Jews. And Rus and, um, Rus and Arpa say, we're coming with you. Dear mother-in-law, we are coming with you. You're not going to be able to persuade us otherwise. We're going out with you. She begs them not to. They persist. They're traveling with her. She's about to enter into the land of Israel and she says again, it's not worth it, please go back. And she gets, goes a little bit stronger than that. And Arpa gives her a huge hug and kiss and goes back to where she came from. Rus says, wherever you're going to go, I'm going to go. However you're going to live your life, however you're going to die, you're, I'm going to die, I'm with you all the way, I'm going the whole, the whole time, all the way into Israel. And she follows Naomi into Israel. What changed? Arpa also gave up life as a princess. And Arpa also said, I'm not listening to any of your convincing and persuading me not to come. And she headed out the entire way. But as they're going into Israel, and her mother will turn to them one more time and tries to convince them out of it, she goes back. Rus goes ahead. And the Pusik lets on an expression. It says, she he misametzes. In Ivrit, that's ktsat ma'amatz which means we strengthen ourselves just a little bit more. That's what Rus possessed that Arpa, her sister-in-law, did not. Her sister-in-law didn't possess that same amount, which you say her sister as well, that Rus herself had. Rus stretched herself just a little bit further, and she says, I don't know what life's going to be like. I might be the scorn." I might be embarrassed, I might be ashamed, I might be poverty-stricken. But right now, my tell in my heart, my intellect tells me, take another step forward with this woman, with my mother-in-law. I don't know what the outcome's going to be, but I'm stepping into the land of Israel. I'm going to Eretz Yisrael. With that little extra ounce of strength, that's what separated her from Naomi, from Arpa. Arpa, we know, turned to terrible things. Even that night already, terrible things happened to her. To the bottom, to the abyss, to the pits of degradation of life. Rus, on the other hand, was the mother, the grandmother of David HaMelech and Melech HaMashiach. Unbelievable. Two diametrically opposed paths. They started off together and then veered off because of one step. One ounce of a little bit more kayach, a little bit more ma'amatz, a little bit more perseverance. As we're going through Yom Kippur, and it gets a little bit difficult, and the fast wears on, and we try to concentrate more, imagine if we keep this in mind. The difference between a successful, thriving, happy new year, clean slate, and one that we could be a little bit sluggish, and yet always having regret, I should have given it a little bit more is just that little bit more perseverance. When the going gets rough, the tough get going. A little bit more, another step further. Just remember what we can get at the end of this entire show.
as we go through Yom Kippur, we dive into Hashem. Give us that strength. Give us that ability. But more importantly, give us that clarity of mind that it's worthwhile taking another step, pushing a little bit more, digging a little bit more deeper, talking a little bit more introspective. And when we do that, we'll truly merit a chasimah tova, a wonderful signing in for a happy, healthy, spiritually uplifting life for the coming year.